Okay, and few are the bacillus. Bacillus are the aerobic, anaerobic, listeria, colon bacterium diphtheli, anthra, anthrax virus. Whereas the anaerobic are the colostradium groups of organisms causing colostradium, titania, and porphyrins, botulinum, and there is an formerly uh, known as propionobacterium echini that was re recently known as the cutibacteria. Then there was the bare branching filamentous, we talked about aerobic nocardia and anaerobic actinomyces. Then we are talking we are talking about this gram positive cocci, which were <coughs> divided by this cattle stressed into the catalyst positive and catalyst negative organism the catalyst positive were Staphylococcus group that is the cluster group of organism in which they can be differentiated three important species that is Staphylococcus aureus, Saprophyticus and Epidermidis and all those can be differentiated by a test known as the coagulase test. So a gram positive bacteria, a gram positive cocci that is catalyst positive we think about the Staphylococcus. Staphylococcus if it is a coagulase positive then it comes to the Staphylococcus aureus group. If it is coagulase negative gram positive catalyst positive but coagulase negative then it comes to the either saprophyticus or epidermidis that is staphylococcus saprophyticus or staphylococcus epidermidis which can be differentiated by the novice in sensitivity the bacteria epidermidis staphylococcus epidermidis is, was or is novice in sensitive so uh, bacteria that is a gram positive cocci in a cluster catalyst positive comes to the cluster group is a coagulase negative novice in sensitive staphylococcus epidermidis this by, giving, by correlating this four five information you are able to answer and one of the question will be there from here uh, from this uh, uh, this um, what we say this page there will be one of the question now we are talking about we are moving forward uh, this is for the actually I have made in uh, Nepal language for the local Nepalese student this is for the international student for an English language where we are a uh, conf when we are when we're where we are trying to make you understand that a gram positive cocci that is catalyst negative if positive goes to the staphylococcus group but if it is negative that it comes into the streptococcus group in a streptococcus group there are the actually different organisms like streptococcus pneumonia streptococcus viridens groups of streptococci that is responsible for infective endocarditis like mites mutants sanguine and salivaries streptococcus pneumonia, pneumonia causing pneumonia then there was a beta hemolytic group of that is streptococcus agalaxy and streptococcus pyogen streptococcus agalaxy causing meningitis in newborn streptococcus pyogen that is causing that is uh, that was responsible for the streptococcal pharyngitis which in two to three weeks people develop rheumatic fever people developed rheumatic fever or post streptococcal glomerulonephritis then there was a, a disease like then there was a disease like enterococcus species like enterococcus fecium fecalis and streptococcus bovis they are responsible for hospital acquired infection mainly wound infection say urine tract infection even blood infection has also been seen so a gram positive cocci but that is a catalyst negative once catalyst negative that falls into under the streptococci not staphylococci and under the streptococci these are the group of organisms that are in a pair or chain form and that has been classified on the basis of their hemolysis that produce on the blood agar so when we culture this organism the blood agar they, they utilize the rvc in a different way one can utilize partially which is known as the alpha hemolysis another can utilize completely so complete hemolysis that is the beta hemolysis and another that has no hemolysis so there can be three options it is completely a lysis of the rbc that is beta hemolytic group there is a partial lysis of the rbc that is alpha hemolytic group there is no lysis of the rbc and there is no hemolysis since you know that uh, in if you go through your jaundice chapter then you know that once the metabolism of the rbc the hem leads to the billy body now green pigment so in partial hemolysis there is the green background greenish background so then the partial hemolysis is known as alpha that is the grayish background and then under that two groups of organism comes and is in, one is streptococcus pneumonia and one is the streptococcus viridens groups which is a group of organism that contains streptococcus mites it is called streptococcus mutants streptococcus sanguines streptococcus salivaries these are the organism okay so to differentiate how to reach that is the streptococcus pneumonia or streptococcus viridens that you have to uh, utilize some of the information you know this is the catalyst this is a gram positive cocci that is catalysis negative in a chain or uh, pair that is not much important information but it is catalyst negative then on alpha hemolysis group it group belongs to the two organism that is the streptococcus pneumonia or viridens streptococci and among that if when we reach to the one particular organism by 
another test known as the optochon sensitivity of protein sensitivity and bile solubility so any organism that is sensitive to the optochin means that is inhibited that growth is killed by optochin is a streptococcus pneumoniae if the organism that grown is soluble in bile will get killed by in bile then that is your streptococcus pneumoniae which is causing pneumonia in that part patient if a gram positive bacteria that is catalase negative when you culture you form the alpha hemolysis that is the partial green uh, background and when you have done observed optocin and bile solubility test test and then it is coming negative it is become resistant the, the organism grow on the opto, around the optocin and easily grow in the bile then that you have to understand it is not the streptococcus pneumonia it is rather the streptococcus peridens group of streptococci and that is responsible for infective endocarditis low virulent organism that is responsible for infective endocarditis carditis that is usually present inside your mouth inside your gum so we can reach this four five information optocin test and bile solubility test streptococcus pneumonia is optocin and bile solubility is a test positive sensitive which is a uh, group of group group of inter, uh, cocci that is catalyst negative and belongs to the gram positive cocci now there is another group of organism that that comes on the blood agar gives a complete hemolysis there is a clear zone of hemolysis around the organism and that is known as the complete hemolysis that is a clear and in this there are two group of organism one is streptococcus pyogenes and streptococcus agalacti how we can differentiate those organism what are the diseases that are caused by them streptococcus pyogenes cause pharyngitis streptococcal pharyngitis that is leads to post streptococcal glomerulonephritis or rheumatic heart disease streptococcus agalacti they are usually responsible for neonatal meningitis and neonatal death that you have to understand so we are talking about the basic how we can differentiate we can differentiate a gram positive bacteria a gram positive cocci that is catalase negative but it is belongs to the clear hemolysis zone beta hemolytic zone complete hemolytic zone then we can differentiate either it is a streptococcus pyogen or streptococcus galaxy by a simple test known as the basitracin sensitivity npir status in basitracin sensitivity what happens when you keep the organism the streptococcus pyogens usually get killed by basitracin the, the if you keep a blood agar and keep a basitracin dix around that dix this bacteria will not grow and since this bacteria will not grow now you know that this is sensitive to this basic rasin and this organism is your streptococcus pyogenes this is your if you and give your throat swab uh, take a throat swab grow that organism do the gram strain it comes a gram positive you have then the grown the culture it is a complete hemolysis and the catalyst test it was negative then you have done the basic rasin test and basic rasin test it was found sensitive the bacteria get killed so you have confirmed that this is your streptococcus pyogenes if it is resistant despite they having the complete hemolysis and catalase negative streptococci and producing the complete hemolysis in the blood agar then you have to think okay basitracin is a resistance and that is the streptococcus agalaxy this new one is suffering from meningitis and the group organism responsible is streptococcus agalacti now there is another group of organism you know in your blood agar where you have find that there is a no hemolysis in the blood agar a group of organism that is catalase positive you have find the catalase negative you have found the it is a gram positive but catalase negative once catalase negative you have think okay streptococcus group of organism in streptococcus and the blood agar you have found no hemolysis at all if it is a partial hemolysis it goes into the streptococcus pneumonia or bredens group if it is complete hemolysis it goes to the streptococcus pyogenes or agalacti group but it is no hemolysis at all then there are two group of organism one is enterococcus and another is group d streptococci which is known as the streptococcus bovis now how can we reach to the, to the particular one organism by doing a by growing them in the 6.5% nsl if the organism grow that means resistance to the 6.5% nsl that is group d streptococci or known as the streptococcus bovis which is usually found in your blood if you have a gastric carcinoma if it is doesn't go grow in the 6.5% nsl that is sensitive is means it get killed in 6.5% nsl or doesn't grow at 6.5% nsl then it is your enterococcus species they are usually grown in the bile as well so they are grown in bile but they are cannot resist the 6.5% nsl so that as enterococcus species enterococcus officium and enterococcus officialis so in this way you can easily able to pinpoint your particular organism and in a complete scenario a patient can can he give you the information like a patient is suffering from cough 
fever now they have you have done a gram stain this is a gram positive cocci that is in the chain when you have cultured that has found that it has been giving partial hemolysis and now you have to th think about the what is the test that is necessary to diagnose your organism now you know that he is talking about the pneumonia and you have come to know that is uh, giving the partial hemolysis now there is the, uh, the only two options left is of course mutants virulence groups of streptococci and streptococcus pneumonia now you have to do is optocin test uh, once you optocin your bile solubility test you've done if it is sensitive you can pinpoint that this is a streptococcus pneumonia so you have to stick up pick the answer that optocin sensitivity and bile solubility test can help you to diagnose the streptococcus pneumonia organism if give a scenario that a patient from suffering from the rheumatic heart disease or you are having the pharyngeal sore throat now you it is coming as on the sore throat it is coming as a gram positive bacteria you have done the catalyst test it is negative on blood agar it is complete hemolysis now how can you what is the organism you can say streptococcus agalacti how can you uh, no sorry streptococcus pyogenes how can you reach that organism identification you will do the bacitracin sensitivity test if it is sensitive it is the streptococcus pyogenes if it is resistant then it goes to the agalacti what will be the scenario of agalacti a newborn suffering from meningeal features now they are um, now you have to tell them what have gone uh, done the gram stain of your csf on csf you have find that okay gram positive uh, cocci that is catalyst negative now you have grown on the blood agar that's the complete hemolysis the patient suffers from the meningitis you are suspecting now in your mind you should be ring the, they are talking about the streptococcus agalacti and how can we do that it is bacitracin and sensitivity test is resistant negative and you can reach to the diagnosis if they are talking about the enterococcus a patient suffering from the hospital acquired infection or uti and they are growing the organism that is a gram positive cocci you have done the culture it shows no hemolysis at all in a catalyst test it is showing negative catalyst negative streptococcus group a group of cocci no hemolysis you are coming to the alpha hemolytic group alpha group no hemolysis group in this you have to know down shut down to the it is enterococci or not if it is enterococcus species that will usually not grow in the 6.5 percent nacl and your diagnosis confirm in this way we can reach either into the streptococcus pinpoint to the organism or into the streptococcus pinpoint to the organism this chapter is very important this page is very important because there will be certainly have few question in any type of entrance exam all over the world thank you